Bee Spit, and Lizzie Spit. Thanks for joining me on Bees and Bikinis. Please like and subscribe and enjoy this video. These are crazy times, you know. Can't you see that my heart's aglow? Ain't no trouble that can get me down. Cause I'm busy as a bee. And there's a peace that I always find. I leave the cares of the world behind. It's not that I'm a super master. manual of course right now sorry for the dishwasher going in the background I'm just sterilizing all my jars getting ready for everything um, and it's a lot of work to keep everything clean and not sticky as I go so in my last video I brought in the honey supers and then it started to rain so it's the perfect day to extract honey because I can't be outside um, and I'll be packaging in the next episode and in my last episode is bringing the honey supers in so that's why I'm in the same bikini as my last video. I use this scraper to scrape off the wax cappings. I use a lovely glass casserole dish for catching the cappings and then I put that into my extractor. So I'll show you my entire process on how I extract honey I have six hives. The manual extractor is getting a little too, it's a little exhausting for even that amount of hives, but right now I'm not ready to fork up the bucks for an electric extractor, but it does the trick and it works well. We used to do it by hand um, through a filter and scrape all of the wax off, so it's better than that, I gotta we say. Collect the wax cappings melt those down and use that wax for my beeswax lip balm and other things like that but I'll show you that process on rendering wax in another video. This is my little bee area. I'm still working on it. It needs a ceiling up here um, and then this table is going to be cut in half horizontally. It's going to be a bar area in front of this window for packaging all of my honey and doing all my honey extraction. So this area soon will kind of be like my indoor honey house um, until I can get an outdoor honey house near the bee yard up and running. But for now, it's good. So I use a two frame honey extractor. Just two fit in there and you can fit mediums or deeps, doesn't matter. Um, it has a little valve down here at the bottom. I always forget to close that. So while I'm telling you about it, I'm gonna close that. It comes with two magnetic lids at the top. You don't really need them. Honey doesn't fly out at you. And sometimes I like to leave it open just to get that smell. I love it so much, the honey spinning. But it just sits on top there. I'm just gonna dry these off a little bit. You wanna keep everything as dry as possible when you're extracting honey. You don't want any additional moisture in your honey at all. Um, so anything that I leave out to dry, I also dry with a towel just in case and get all of those nooks and crannies. Um, with my jars, I put them in the dishwasher on the dry cycle, the heat dry cycle, just to make sure I get all of the moisture out. Moisture is a honey killer and a bee killer. So make sure to get all that moisture out. First step, I'm gonna pull my frames out of this box. I'm gonna scrape them using my scraper and then throw them in the two frame honey extractor. Spin it, you turn the frames, spin it again, and then pull them out, put them back in the box and keep going until all the frames are done. I like to do my honey in batches. So making sure I keep each box individual and then I filter it. And the reason for that is each box has a different flavor and I like to keep those flavors separate. A lot of people just put them all together, which is fine, but you can really taste all the different flavors in each batch. And you know exactly where they went to get their resources. Sometimes it tastes like apple, sometimes it tastes like lavender. You never know what you're gonna get. So, let the journey begin. So, you do 
have to put the frames in evenly. As you can see, I have the nubs. Oh, I need to turn that around actually. So these aren't even and this whole extractor is going to wobble. So there you go. So you want to make sure you have frames with relatively the same amount of honey and even weight and then I like to make sure they're kind of mirroring each other in the extractor or else it wobbles a hell of a lot. So I have them in there evenly now. I'm going to go dry those two lids and put them on. Keep all the dust out and everything. extractor but otherwise this is good enough for what I have right now and I may invest in the future in an electronic extractor but I mean I can work on my my arms this way so there we go it's nice and light everything's gone so I just put that back in the box grab the next one all empty. I'm gonna put that back in the box and then we do it again and we just keep going and going. So I'm gonna make a time lapse of me finishing off the rest. in there or some of it just so that I can keep going but I also found a calm frame so I write on the top of them you can't really see it now but I write comb and I used to try to put a wax foundation an edible wax foundation in the middle and it I couldn't figure it out
So I've been putting a blank frame so there's no foundation in the middle at all. So it's just the wood frame. And I put that in the middle of the hive. And I've been doing that for two years and they make their own comb. I'm going to have to put this back in because obviously it's not finished yet. So I'm just going to skip this little comb frame and when I go put the empty supers back onto my hives I'll just leave that in there. And whoever's hive gets this I'll try and put it back on Queen June, that's where it came from. Uh, they can finish it for me and I'll have that for the end of the summer. So I use a two step filter, it has two screens. Make sure to keep everything dry. So there's the bottom and then the top so it does have to go through the two screens and any wax cappings that fall into this I melt down and use. It has an expandable top so that you can fit it to any size you might need. And I've just lifted that up onto a table and I'm going to put my pail underneath. So I use these pouring pails because it does have the spout when you're ready to package your honey. And then my screen's going on top of that. Just making sure everything is dry. You don't need to put the honey extractor up so high. I just have upholstered chairs so I don't want to set it on a chair. But a chair is well high enough. So I just have it on the table and the pail on the floor and I'm ready to get going here. It. I'm going to keep trekking with the rest of my frames and hopefully do a time lapse. Direction, everyone we'll wait for that to filter and we're all done In the next video I'll probably be packaging honey or using the hydrometer to show you how to use that do 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 do